preparation of alcohols via Grignard reagents. Spelled Grignard, pronounced Grignard. Grignard reagents take the form of alkyl magnesium halides, like an alkyl magnesium bromide. That bromine could be chlorine or iodine as well. Here's an actual Grignard reagent, a specific one. This one is called methyl magnesium bromide. So there's two ways you can look at this. Uh, one is with a covalent bond between the carbon and the magnesium. It's actually a very polar covalent bond, so much so that you could also look at it as being ionic where the sigma bond turns into a lone pair on the carbon. So the resonance structure that I find more useful is um, in the ionic state. And you can see here that you've got a carb anion, which is a very strong nucleophile. Also a pretty strong base. Now, when you react your Grignard reagent with a carbonyl, remember, a carbonyl has a lot of induction and so the carbonyl carbon is electrophilic. This means that the Grignard reagent, the carbanion portion, will do nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon. And this exceeds the octet on the carbonyl carbon, and so the CO pi bond turns into a lone pair. Now this is just like what NABH4 does and what LAH does in reducing carbonyls. So what we've done is we've created an alkoxide that is now tertiary by reacting the Grignard with a ketone. And this methyl group here is supplied by the Grignard. Now this tertiary alkoxide produced um, by the nucleophilic attack it's a very strong base, and so any weak acid like water or an alcohol in the second step will uh, supply a proton and protonate that. So here's our proton transfer step. And this is so cool because we have managed to increase both the carbon-carbon skeleton and our degree of substitution. That makes Grignard reagents the coolest thing we've learned all semester, in my opinion. Now, the way we make a Grignard reagent is by reacting an alkyl halide with magnesium metal in diethyl ether. A two-step radical mechanism has been proposed for this. In the first step, One of the electrons in the alkyl halogen bond combines with one of magnesium's electrons. The other electron in the alkyl halogen bond creates an alkyl radical. The second step involves coupling of the alkyl radical and the magnesium halide radical that were created in the first step. We now have our Grignard reagent, which has its resonance structure where that pair of electrons bonding the alkane to the magnesium turns into a lone pair. So you've got your carbon ion and your magnesium halide cation, right? And that is your nucleophile. Let's do this synthesis via a Grignard reaction. First, we take our 2-chloropropane and we react it with magnesium and diethyl ether to make our Grignard reagent isopropyl magnesium chloride. In our second step, we have to combine the Grignard reagent with the appropriate carbonyl. And that carbonyl is going to supply those atoms. So we need acid aldehyde.
like this. And so now we're going to do nucleophilic attack. And it's very important to note that this bond came from this lone pair. And when that nucleophilic attack happened, the carbonyl carbons octet was exceeded. And so that's why we have this curved arrow here forming the oxyanion. Now we're not far away from our product. All we need is a weak acid to protonate it. Let's use water. So then our alkoxide acts as a base, takes a proton from the water. This is a proton transfer step, and we form our alcohol, which has five carbons. The sequence of reagents. Step one is formation of a Grignard. So it's magnesium and diethyl ether. Diethyl ether is the only solvent that will work here. The second step is having the aldehyde. So I'll draw it like that, acid aldehyde. And we want to do that step still in the diethyl ether. And then step three is to work it up with water. You could also use an alcohol here. Either one is a decent weak acid. Can you do this reaction via a Grignard? Pause it while you work it out. If you're ready, first I'm going to make the Grignard reagent. So I react my ethyl chloride with magnesium and diethyl ether, ET2O. And that gives me ethyl magnesium chloride. Again, I like the um, resonance structure that has the anion. Now, I've got to react this with a carbonyl. So, take away an ethyl group from the product. All right, so let's get rid of that ethyl group. Now we're talking about a four-carbon carbonyl with... Um, the second carbon being the ketone. So that means our carbonyl is 2-butanone. So here's our Grignard acting as a nucleophile and performing nucleophilic attack. That exceeds the octet on the carbonyl carbon change a pi bond to a lone pair, and now we've got this. And now all we need is some water to protonate it. And we're done. So our sequence of reagents, one, magnesium and ether, ET2O, two, butanone, and three, water.